Something about the angels is that they don't like bad breath, just like we don't like bad breath. And so you know the feeling of when you're at the masjid and you're praying uh, some sort of salah, tarawih usually or something after iftar, and you can smell the breath of someone next to you, whether it's morning breath or the breath of whatever they ate uh, that night and the odor of it comes out. And the Prophet ﷺ taught us to freshen our breath for the masjid and freshen our breath for prayer at home. And the Prophet ﷺ said, so whoever amongst you is eating onions or garlic, don't approach the masjid. Because he said Sallallahu that the angels are offended by what offends the children of Adam, meaning they don't like the smell of it, just like the children of Adam don't like the smell of those things. So make sure that you brush your teeth and make sure that you freshen your breath. And the Prophet Sallallahu used to freshen his breath. He used to use the siwak for every single meeting with his Lord, every single prayer. It was his habit Sallallahu to brush his teeth and to freshen up his breath. And that was his way of preparing for that moment, that, that event of being in that conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in prayer and in supplication. Imagine if we did that, not just for our hygiene, but our spiritual hygiene, every single time we went to the prayer and whether that was at home or in the masjid, we purified our breath. One of my favorite uh, hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in this regard, as it pertains to the angels, is that when a person stands, the Prophet ﷺ said, when a person stands to pray and they purify their mouth with the siwak, so they use a toothbrush or they use the siwak and they prepare their mouth for the salah. As they stand for the salah, the Prophet ﷺ said, an angel stands behind him and listens to his recitation, so we already know that. And then the angel draws near until the mouth of the angel is on the mouth of the reciter. And the Prophet ﷺ said, and so the reciter recites nothing of the Qur'an illa sara fi jawfil malak, except that it goes directly to the heart of the angel. SubhanAllah. And the Prophet ﷺ said, فَطَهِّرُوا أَفْوَاكُمْ Quran." So purify your mouths for the Qur'an. Purify your mouth for the recitation of the Qur'an. Allahu Akbar. SubhanAllah, you're reciting and you're reciting into the heart of the angel, into the chest of the angel. And it's, it's really beautiful when you think about the fact that you came into this life with an angel blowing your spirit into you and here you are now blowing the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into the angel. And this is something that's established that the angels crowd around the Qur'an. Ibn Salah rahimahullah narrates that the angels don't uh, recite the Qur'an, but instead they listen to the Qur'an. So they crowd the Qur'an. So we know that when we're reciting, the angels surround us, whether that's in groups or as individuals. We know that the angels love the Qur'an. They surrounded it as it came down to the Prophet Sallallahu They celebrate its reading. But SubhanAllah, think about that moment there. The next time you stand up to read the great blessing that you have of the Qur'an, that even the angel wants to absorb the Qur'an from your mouth the way that you absorbed life through that angel.